very spontaneous person. My wife can talk about that too, because it's like when if I see something and everything is working to plan, I I just grab it. It's like you know you see those opportunities, and and something that that um just to bring in my you know my background. My my pastor said this one this he said it one time. He said there's like certain opportunities that come right multiple times in your life, but. In What is going on everybody and welcome to another video um i'm excited you know i want to thank everybody for you know always tuning in to my videos watching leaving you know comments and sharing and whatnot it's it's not easy pulling out these videos and i'm trying every at least every week i'm trying to give you content and you know trying to stay you know up to date with myself and just with everyone else because doing these videos is no joke but listen if this is your first time watching this video we welcome you thank you for joining the channel and if you haven't yet subscribed mm, make sure you uppercut that subscribe button hit the bell icon to stay notified to stay notified to stay notified when new videos are being updated um, without further ado, today I'm actually in my two month June, uh, July, or uh, yeah, I'm going I'm going on my third month of having this Tesla Model Y. If you haven't seen my previous videos, um, I did a video on my delivery and when I got the car and one night, and I said that I was gonna. You know later on i was gonna do a video as far as like my experience and you know how's it been so far so now we're here and this three months has been amazing with the car it's been a little bit getting used to with certain things right like um a driving not having a, a a cluster here in the front where you see the the miles per hour and all that stuff everything is on this huge screen in the center of the of the car the screen is huge you can see everything from it right it shows navigation you see the car itself you see like all these different options that it has um, and so far with three months or two months if you want to be exact it's been it's been good so far you know I can't complain um, people ask oh so how is with the miles and stuff the miles are miles are great the only time it gets a little bit tricky and it's not even all that crazy is when you have to do long distance trips like more than two hours three hours whatever you just got to prepare yourself for that trip but thank god to the tesla navigational system it tells you where every single um charging station is so you don't have to worry about like oh my god do can i charge my Am I going to have to charge my car or, or whatnot? The good thing about it, like I, I usually explain to people that are still trying to maybe go into electric because they say, oh, there's a ton of gas stations, whatever. There's a ton of electric charging stations. The good thing about it also is that it tells you on the map itself when you're about to, you know, if you need a charge, it's going to let you know, right? The, the, the vehicle is smart enough to let you know that you listen you're trying to get to this destination you're gonna need some charge before you get you know before you get there um and the good thing about it is that once you click on the location where you got the charging station it'll tell you like how many slots are available you know or how many ports are available for you to charge if there's 10 ports and eight are being used whatever you got two available or whatnot so it's smart enough to let you know if you go to a gas pump right and you're driving you you're in a pickle and you need to get some gas you're just going to find the nearest gas station, but you don't know if it's crowded or if it's busy or whatever. It's, I'm not saying that happens all the time, but I'm just trying to give you some perspective that you have those options to see, you know, how many of those charging stations are being used at that specific location. That's a plus, right? That's good. 
um, with one full charge of the car, you get, I'm getting about 330, 335 uh, miles on one full charge. It's, it's really good. Um, and if you're an aggressive driver, obviously if you're an aggressive driver with gas as well, you, it's, it's going to consume more gas. If you're an aggressive driver on an electric vehicle, it's going to obviously use more electricity, which will in turn reduce your, your, your distance of miles and whatnot. But it's just getting used to, but it's not a, a big deal, right? It's not that big of a deal. Uh, the good thing is that, you know, I have it home right now and I have it plugged in and it's charging. I don't have to worry about going to, to, to a charging station and, you know, getting it charged. Again, only if I'm going to do long distance trips is when I really focus on that. But if I'm going to try, if I'm going to be driving around my area and going to church and coming back and doing errands, like, it's totally fine it's totally good because every time i come back from from doing that error i put in for that errand i go ahead and put it in my garage and boom i'm already you know plugged in and charging it so technically i always have a charge i'm always on on, on charge mode um the vehicle space is good it's it's extremely spacious right it's removing so many other pieces of hardware that a gas car would would have like in the back it doesn't have a gas tank so you know from a gas tank that could hold maybe 30 gallons or whatever like that that's eliminated so you get that that space back um in the back seats and and whatnot in the cargo space uh your your front space that you got for yourself and the passenger is really roomy and spacious like you know it's it's so comfortable and it's so simple it's so simple, but it has everything that you need on this touchscreen, right? And now if we compare it, right, when you start, when you get an electric vehicle, it's because you want to compare it to gas. And sometimes people have that, that, um, um, that fear of like, oh my God, it's, it's not going to work out for me or whatever. To be honest, in 2021, first of all, gas prices are going up. The prices of used vehicles, they're like out of the roof. Like if you go to looking to buy a, a used vehicle, you're when you compare it and in taxes and all that stuff, you might as well buy a brand new car, knowing that you're gonna leave with a you know fully functional car. Whereas you get a used car, it's like you gotta do your research, you gotta check on a couple of things. That's like it's been used before, so you don't know how the previous owner was taking care of the car and whatnot. So that becomes a little tricky, right? And price-wise, people are like, oh my God, you got a Tesla, it's super, super expensive, whatever. In a grand scheme of things, it's not that expensive. You go into a BMW, you go into a, 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 a let's go to a Nissan or, or a Hyundai or whatever, and you choose the vehicle that you want, you start adding packages because you want navigation. You want cameras, you want safety, you want all these cool features, and these companies offer it to you in packages. Next thing you know, you added all these packages that, that, that you want and you're you're at 60 grand, 70 grand or whatnot. You know what I mean? Like this Model Y comes with everything without having to add these like extra packages. Like it has it does have some options, but they're not packages or they're, they're not options that you would like. Oh, my God. Wow. You know, I really need this. You, you want 22 inch rims? That's preference. Right. Um, um, you want them black? that that's preference um you you want you want like um uh the full 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 self-driving that's preference it has autopilot so all those things are just preferences but my major focus right is like safety you know performance maintenance which it already comes as default like this is just default like you get two packages with this car right you get a long range and you get performance the performance obviously comes with performance tires it comes with with a, a, a quicker acceleration speed like you know what i'm saying but all the safety navigation of this huge screen sometimes you 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 pay for a navigational system on a on a regular you know non-electric vehicle and you get like a screen like this big come on people this is like a freaking tablet you know it's a literally it's like a huge computer um in front of you so you got to look at those types of things um and that's what i was looking for before pulling the trigger on this but it's it's so spacious i'm telling you it has charging pads uh that which will be an extra cost probably for another vehicle like for for, for smartphones you can just put your 
phone right on the charging pad and it charges, right? The back seats, the back seats, they are comfortable. They are spacious, extremely spacious. Like I'm in the middle section here. This car fits five, right? Two in the front, three in the back, but usually you don't have a headrest back here in, in certain cars. This one has it, it's optional. You can just, you know, raise it up if you feel comfortable. Like, you know, I have people that are pretty tall that come back here and they have ton of space, have two USB type C ports right here in the center uh, of, the, of the back. These seats, they go completely down and you get all that space from here all the way to the back. So like, you know, and then you get a cool view for those who are sitting back here. Even if you're driving two in the front, you get this glass panoramic. The whole roof is panoramic in glass. Um, there is a little downside to that because when it's extremely hot, it does get hot in here. But they got accessories that I would that I've been able to, to buy too. And I bought some accessories, uh, a cover to put right through um, on top of here. And it, you know, cuts out it's like a sunshade. It's it's so good. And there's so many accessories that, that you can get for the car that, that are optional. Um, and again, preference, but they're, they're pretty cool. I put some LED lights in the bottom. Um, they were cheap. I got them at Walmart, but I was able to install them there and use the, the ports inside to give it juice. Nice little ambient color for at nighttime and whatnot. So it's it's so good. Like I can't complain, you know what I mean? It's, it's been good driving wise, performance wise. Um, and, and if you're looking into, into really like buying one, um, there's so many things that you can compare with, with a gas car and, and that, that you're actually getting with an electric vehicle and a little bit more. As I said, the used market is crazy. It's crazy high. The prices are crazy high. So you might as well get a brand new car. And if you get a brand new car, you just want to look at those packages and those options that you're going to, that you want that are going to add a, a big cost to that purchase price whereas with the tesla you just do everything from the app it's all in the app it's literally all in the app the phone you download it you download the tesla app you can literally control the phone the the car any from anywhere with that app turn on the the ac pull up the windows if you left the windows um down by mistake or whatever like cool it if you're in a in a like hot climate place and you're parked outside you could turn the the ac on or you could set it to auto you know cool the stuff this navigational system has full like you know compatibility with your phone the cool thing is that if you need to go somewhere if you're preparing a trip um you can get the directions or or you know pull it up on your on your phone and you can literally send that location to your car remotely so once you get into the car you already have it set as a as a destination that you want to go um so there's there's a ton of like cool things the infotainment system that it has it has netflix it has hulu um and they're constantly updating tesla's always sending out updates and they're all free just like you get firmware updates on your phone um they're they're all free so you never know what Tesla's going to release and send out and, and get the update. Um, by the way, the full self driving is, is kind of like here, but not here at the same time. But um, they made it into a subscription. So if you want the full self driving um, subscription, you can just do it from the app, activate it, pay the $200 a month. I know that's pretty expensive, but you get the full self driving experience. And the good thing is that if you want to cancel it, you just cancel it. And then if you want to activate it again, you just activate it again whenever you're... I think I might use that when I'm going on really long trips. It's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, everything is done on here. I've had a tremendous experience so far in, the, in, these, in these two months. I've gone to service like three times because I'm kind of anal with certain things. Um... And, and it's been cool. Like I went for, for the rims. Like if you don't know, these cars come with hubcaps. When I was looking into the, the vehicle first, I was like, man, th those rims, like the ones they came with are, they were okay. 
but I didn't realize that they were actually hubcaps and Tesla designed them specifically for aerodynamics and it's probably a scientific, you know, like reasoning behind it, but I'm like, whatever. Um, so I had like mixed reviews on it on how I feel about the rims uh, or, or about those, those covers on the rim, but I ended up popping out the rim and I saw that the real rim was nice, a nice looking rim. So I popped them out and I left them out. So I've been running now on just the, the rims rims and not with the covers on there. Usually they said if you, you would put the covers on, if you're going to do a long distance trip, it helps with mileage and, and energy efficiency and whatnot. I haven't done a test on that. If you've done a test and you've tried it, let me know. Put it in the comments. Let me know if you see a big difference with that. Um, I'm not going to do that test right now. I just took them off. And when I took them out, um, I noticed that there was like little scratches because when you put the hubcaps on, it like has these clamps and I guess the clamps were scratching or leaving marks. So I saw that and I was like, no, 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 mm -mm. can't have a brand new car with those marks like that. So I took it to Tesla, just let them know. And to my surprise, all the Teslas have it. They have these little markers or whatever. It could be probably buffed or cleaned or whatever the case is. It was, it was kind of a big deal, but then eventually it became a no big deal to me after that. But I left them off and um, I actually like it the, the way it is. I did a few little mods. I put the tinted windows on the car. Like I said, I put the LED lights. I got the sunroof cover for it um, to just prevent it from getting like too hot in here when it's extremely hot like it is today but listen it's been so far so good um and all of my fears that i had before like i'm totally fine with them like i said there's things that you gotta get um you gotta get pretty much let, let me fix this here you gotta you gotta pretty much get used to to like certain things of it just being electric right like you just get out the car, you walk out and you close the door, everything just locks for you. So it's just like keeping in mind on, on those things like that. The regenerative braking, as you're, the regenerative braking, what it does is that as you're driving and you let go of the acceleration, the car slows down automatically for you. So you hardly ever have to press the brake. Um, and that actually helps out, but it's something you gotta get used to because now you're just using the acceleration and you're like hardly ever using the brake unless you got an idiot in front of you that brakes extremely hard and you have to just quickly press on it. But the regenerative braking, what it does is that as, as you leave, uh, as you let go of the acceleration, it slows the car down, but it's also sending energy back into the batteries. Um, so that's what makes it energy efficient. Uh, maintenance wise, if you're not pressing the brake as often, then you don't really need to change the brakes as often. Um, so that's good. There's no like you know, crazy maintenance that has to be done on, on the car besides maybe like tire rotations, as I said before, depending on if, uh, how, how aggressive you are as a driver. But it's it's been all good. You know, it's all been good. And um, the, tr the trip I did to Florida was amazing. I'm about to do a camping trip. I'm going to put the seats down. I'm going to get a little bit, a little bed back here because they sell these little uh, they sell this actual mattress that you could put in the back, chill, watch some Netflix, Hulu, whatever, and just make an experience out of it because there's so much space back there. So maybe I'll do a video on that. But um, I just wanted to give you a follow up on my experience with the, the Model Y going fully electric. And if you're in, in, in the market for getting one, I would, you know, do your research. You know, do your research, um, compare, you know, look at the differences between the gas and, and the electric and the features that you want and whatever like that, because it's going to be all on preference. But let me tell you, it was worth it. It was worth every penny of it. I enjoy it. It's cool. It's fun. And um, um, I don't got to worry about gas no more. And a lot of other maintenance things that I used to do with my gas car. So um i hope you liked the video if you got any comments please let me know engage with me in the comment section let me know what you think if you got questions send them over um 
I usually will re reply within a few hours, you know, and I look at the comment or whatever like that. I'll reply to you guys. But I want to thank you again for joining. Thanks for helping me push this channel along. Um, like I said, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe, share it with your friends, let everybody know, you know what I'm saying, what I'm doing and all the different types of, uh, of content that I'm trying to, you know, pull out. Like I said, it's not easy, but I'm doing my best to pull out a video every week or every two weeks, you know, get you a new video. Um, so here's this video and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Never settle with being good when you have always been meant to be great. Later.